watching CBS 5 News, telling it like it is. Well, good morning, everyone. This is so cool. We got some really neat items here. Uh, this is Bobby Livingston from RR Auction. And you were down in Tucson. Now, tell us about that event. I was at Space Fest 3 where they had 20 astronauts, six of the moonwalkers. That's were so ha- cool. Hanging out yeah, with Buzz Aldrin and Gene Cernan, the last man on the moon. So it was really hip. Well, tell us about your auction. And, of course, we want to show this off. Look, there's a picture of Babe Ruth here. Yeah, uh, this is one of the classic Americans of the 20th century, Babe Ruth. Uh, we have an auction every month and have had one for 30 years at okay. our auction in uh, New Hampshire. So we specialize in authentic autographs of the great greats. Now, now, how does the auction work here? We just go to our website and register. It's free. Mm-hmm. And it, uh, uh, get a bidder number and you can participate. Okay. So. Okay. In, in R&R auction, it, it's very popular because people know if they have an item like this that has a personal story, you guys will get the best price, right? A- a- absolutely. Uh, we we uh, uh, come up with the greatest stuff because we have over 100 consumers signers each month that send us their things. Uh, we are the marketplace for authentic autographs. And, and tell us about some of the autographs you have. Well, this one, that Humphrey Bogart one, I think is really, really cool. He was a big dog lover. And look how beautiful his signature is. I mean, signatures are so fun to collect. Look at that flourish. Mm-hmm. Uh, this came from a very famous in-person collector named Saul Goodman of New York. Oh, and look at this one. I'm sure this was very popular in Tucson over the weekend, right? <laughs> right. Neil Armstrong, the, fir- <laughs> the first man on the moon. Uh, he stopped signing autographs in 1994. Uh, yeah, why is that? Well, I, I think for one of the reasons is that I, I felt he, they were monetizing his signature. Yeah. And so what he did was uh, the market exploded when he stopped because uh-huh. now they're even more rare uh, oh, and more cool. expensive. So, and, and Where did you find this item? Uh, it, one of our regular consigners uh, gave it to us. So that, that will probably be going in auction for three to $5,000. So oh, goodness. Pr- pretty expensive. Okay, so how does the auction work? We see an item that we want. Right. Place a bid. What would an item like this go for right here? Like this personalized Babe Ruth signature? Something like that with a Babe Ruth where it's is so beautiful uh, uh, would probably go for five to seven thousand dollars if he was in a batting uniform might go for a little bit more so that one's pretty pretty heavy now you said june 15th is the end date right okay do you just stay near your computer is it almost like ebay and you wait for the countdown is that how it works yes we have a, a at, at seven or four o'clock uh, mountain time a, a timer starts on the 15th okay. and uh you can you can bid but you can bid now it's it's open for 17 days so well very cool some right. neat items and uh of course bobby will be up with us uh, coming up in the next half hour, or next hour, what will we be talking about next hour? Uh, we're we'll talking about authenticity and how to make sure you buy things that are real. Oh, yeah, that's important. Right. All right, well, more of the CBS 5 Morning News will continue after this. We've got more information, of course, on our vintage Hollywood auction uh, on our website at kpho.com.